Animals are not the only organisms to become multicellular. Uh, fungi and algae are also uh, multicellular, and some algae would come onto land and evolve into the land plants. By uh, the mid-Proterozoic, there were a number of different types of algae which had become uh, multicellular. And so by the mid-Proterozoic, the world's oceans would have been filled not only with prokaryotic uh, cells and eukaryotic cells swimming as unicellular forms, but also with multicellular algae. Sponges are the most primitive animals alive today. They are multicellular, but they lack tissues. They are also the first animals which are known in the fossil record. Sponge spicules are known uh, before the Ediacaran period, and during the Ediacaran period both sponge spicules and whole body fossils of sponges are known. Sponges are filter feeders, so the water currents will allow uh, microorganisms uh, to come uh, into uh, the body of the sponge where they become trapped and are then digested. So the first animals which would have appeared in the early oceans would have been sponges. Jellyfish, coral, and hydra belong to a group of animals known as the cnidarians. While cnidarians are not as complex as worms and bilaterally symmetrical organisms, they have nervous systems and muscle, which make them much more complex than sponges. Cnidarians are not only present during the fossils of the Ediacaran period, cnidarians, uh, such as the sea pens and the uh, floating forms here, were the most common animals of the Ediacaran period, dominating planet Earth for the only time in their history.